Welcome to the Bullhead City Mayoral Candidates Forum. Next question. Given the ongoing drought, what can the city do to ensure there will be a plentiful, long-term, affordable supply of water for both residents and businesses? So water allocation is very important and so is water conservation. As we know, our Lake Mead is drying up and we are in a position where eventually we won't have any water coming through the dam. And unfortunately, that is a very scary, scary thought. Um, so right now the city is in a plan B for their conservation proposal, um, which I could go through it with you, but um, that'll take us way more than two minutes, so I won't. But um, the fact is, what we need to do is we need to stop selling off our water. What we need to do is uh, we need to go, I believe we need to go back to the wells for watering our parks. We've taken our, our parks off of wells and we've actually put them on city water. So uh, that, that allocation from last year that was being done is now um, being used up because we're watering all of the parks. And unfortunately, uh, I don't believe that use it or lose it is um, something that I agree with, but I think that we need to fight with our legislator to keep our water local and keep our water here um, instead of sending it off. And we also need to utilize the resources we have. Firstly, I don't know why it's such a big issue for me, but I will take that little fountain outside of City Hall or I will fight until it is because that's one thing where I'm like, we are sitting here and we're trying to conserve water, but we have a water fountain in front of City Hall. What type of people are we to sit there and uh, show the others that we need to conserve? So, <laughs> so I think what we need to do is we need to stop selling off our water and we need to go back instead of utilizing city water that's allocated to the citizens, we need to go back to the well water to watering our parks. Thank you. Ms. Girich has her Juris Doctorate, was awarded honorary certification for over 160 hours of pro bono work in public service from the Mojave County Attorney's Office and works as a philanthropist and entrepreneur. She currently sits on the Colorado River Union High School District Governing Board.